Yeah. All right, you guys are being immortalized from this point on. So you can see it oscillating slightly here. It is moving up and down right now at about 5 hertz. So that's about, it's supposed to be 5 times per second. I know it doesn't look like it. Maybe this thing's not that accurate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put sand on this thing. And we're going to try and generate some standing waves in this plate. Now, for this, this plate is a little bit different than um, the picture I showed you up there with a the standing wave because the edge, the wave is being generated in the center. It's moving out toward this, the edge, and the edge is not fixed. So the edge is able to basically flap like this and then return the wave back that way. It's going to work a little different, but it's the same principle that you have to have certain wavelengths in order to generate standing waves. So I'm going to just finish putting my magic dust on here. No, no, we should save it and then put it all in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, so now it's oscillating about 5 hertz. I'm just going to slowly turn up the turn up. frequency. Turn up. Turn up. <laughs> I can talk to this. Now, All your comments are waves right. are being made in this. I mean, they're coming here. They're, they're flapping to the outside. Nope. Is this how one way to make popcorn? Cool beans. So we went through, we went through one resonant frequency there. So how the amplitude got much greater at that point. I'm at 25 hertz right now. Okay, so now I can. So, you sure? You <laughs> <laughs> okay, too. No, it's fine. It's just moving um, very fast. It's moving so fast you can't see it, guys. Yeah, it's 40, 48 times like per second. In the hot tub, he's serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, okay. 500. Here we go. So I gotta every now and then I have to change the range. And so now I'm I'm at 51. Oh, my eyes. 54. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. That is. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on. I am at. They're like little Mexican jumping beans. This is 80, <laughs> this is 85 right now, 84, 85 hertz. Now, what we've got here is a standing wave. So we have an anti-node in the center, okay? And then where the sand is collecting is a node. So the waves are going out, they hit the end, the end oscillates, the waves go back, get sent back in. And at this, around this ring right here, they're being canceled out. The upward displacement and the downward displacement is canceling out to zero. Now, what I want you to notice is that if I turn it up, right now I'm about 84 to 85. If I turn it up to 106, we don't see the, the vibration anymore. We still have waves, but because they're not matching up with each other, right? Because the, the frequency and the wavelength will, the frequency and the material will determine what the wavelength is. So the waves, in other words, have a constant speed in this material. And so as I change the frequency, I'm changing the wavelength. And only certain wavelengths will match up properly to give me resonance. So I don't have a standing wave. That's, and the, the, the amplitude is too small now to even move the sand. But if okay. you put your hand on it, would you really feel it? When I hit, you can feel a slight vibration, yeah. When I hit the resonant frequencies, we start to see something because, because it's resonating, it's amplifying itself. So those waves are constructively interfering with each other and the amplitude goes way up at those points. So I'm at 116 right now. And keep turning it up. 159. 210. Now for sure it's on. Now I'm at another resonant frequency, 286, and this is hertz. So now I have two nodes, and why? Because the wavelength's shorter. 
so the wavelength is shorter and so now I have two nodes in there if you look back up on that picture you can see how I had two nodes in that picture now I have two nodes in this case again the sand is collecting at the nodes but I can only have standing waves at certain frequencies right if I speed this up now whoops sorry wrong wrong knob okay now that's 297 so we lose the resonance so here's the deal, just to go back to the electron and de Broglie, his explanation of why we can only have certain energy levels in atoms, if electrons are standing waves, then they can only exist at certain frequencies, basically. That's why you can only have certain energy levels, because electrons are standing waves. So let's continue to turn it up. This is 315. range? No. <laughs> Out of range. All right. Okay, this is 403. Moving up. 422. 490. What's that? Is that Yes, so there's three rings now. So now I want you to think about think about what this means for like energy transitions when those electrons are going from one energy level to another. They're basically it's a transition from one wave pattern to another. So it's it's not like a thing that's moving in an orbit and then it moves into a closer orbit. It's a different wave pattern. And as we'll see, this is so closely analogous to the atom that when you're in energy level three, there are actually concentric rings in that of probability. There's concentric rings of areas where you'd find the electrons, just like there are concentric rings in this. In other words, it's not just one ring further out. And we'll see that in, in a little bit when I show you some applets online. So that's 719 now, but the resonance was down lower. Seven thirty three, nine oh two, thousand four. There's our fourth level at one thousand one hundred eighty seven hertz. Watch it happen. There's a node, there's a node, there's a node, there's a node. Okay, I'm going up higher. This is twelve twenty seven. Next level. Is this healthy? Are these like. I feel like we're, are the rings supposed to get closer? Like yeah. Wait, Dr. Go Ray, up to the hear? frequency that adults can't hear. Oh. What? Uh, Dr. Green stopped hearing about a month ago. Okay, now we got to... <laughs> you can see I've got this thing a little out of level. And so that's why the sand is kind of moving to the... to the other side. But we've got, at this frequency right here, this is 1906. Let's try to get it here. <laughs> We've got a node in the center now, which is really weird. Curious, this kind of it feels really good. Don't ask me why there's a, how there can be a node in the center. I don't know. We've got a, apparently got a node in the center. And we've got one here, 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 and here. So we've got five. So we're moving up further. Now we're at. How many dogs are we no. killing right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not Wait, killing them. We're just torturing them. Yeah, this is 2,760. <sighs> and we'll see if we can separate it out into six rings. I think we do. We got one there, 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 and there. Wow. Six rings. Science. And that might be all that we're going to get. Now, the cool thing is we can go backwards, and it will rearrange itself oh, each time cool. into the... It. Let's do it. That is so pleasant. So we're going down. <laughs> oh, I hope we don't get the four. So this is our electron making its transition to so cool. from level six to level five. Then from level five, yep, and it's giving off light every time it makes the switch. There's level four. There's level three. Whoop, gotta go to the lower. 
two. Is that level two? That's level one, sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> level two right there. And then level one. Whoa. I've not wanted hearing. That's level one. Now let's uh Just to bring it back to what we're talking about here, we are explaining why electrons can only exist at certain energy levels in atoms. And it can be explained if you view electrons as standing waves. Now it turns out that in an atom, what would happen is where the standing wave has its greatest amplitude, you have the greatest chance of finding an electron. At the nodes, you have zero chance of finding an electron. So it's actually just the opposite of the sand. So the sand is collecting at the nodes, the electrons collect at the antinodes, or they concentrate at the antinodes of the standing wave. So in other words, when the electron wave's amplitude is, is the greatest, what that means is that's where you're most likely to find an electron. And we're going to get into that a little bit more. It's called the Born interpretation of the Schrodinger equation. Yeah. OK, so what's that? Go ahead. Want to give it a shot? <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd get very wet. Wouldn't wet, wet sand you have to change the wavelength? In before wet sand. Ups that sand. Yeah, it's too, water's too sticky. Doesn't move well enough. How about fast? Let's turn this up and see what you guys yeah. can hear. Let's test the limits of our hearing. How about that? Oh, what? Oh, God. Okay, this is 4,000 hertz. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is worse. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> this is 12,080 hertz. I want you to raise your hand and drop it when you no longer hear it anymore. Some people listen to this. They call Keep in mind ocean. that we, we are still going to go through some resonance uh, points where you might hear it again. So you might lose it and then regain it because when we go through a resonant frequency, it'll get louder. So that's 12, 12,800. I can still hear it, but this is right on my limit. limit. Oh my lord, that's <laughs> That's even ah. loud. Okay, that's evil. Okay, I lost it. That's at 13,830. 13, Too much Van Halen for me, guys, back, what? In the, back in the 80s. Oh yeah, that feels good. What do we got? 14,860? 15,530? This is a piccolo right here. Wait, Still here. all on with me here? All you, you guys are lying. All you young I can, I can hear oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, the, yeah. Stop talking. That's 16. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's be quiet a minute. See if oh, everybody can still hear. Shh. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if I'm actually hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking around around 18,000 we lose everybody. No, I think it's still here. This is fine. This is changing. This is 18,200. This is loud. Just like a sound, right? Okay, that's fine. 18,700. No, I don't hear it. Yeah. Okay, so somewhere around there. I think it was.